Stand here, my and welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. As we get to the campaigns of Howl's Heroes, and the last time we finally got to see the brand new Black Knight and even the even more terrifying King Crack. Its heavy firepower will bring us victory. Uh, and the last time we did a bit of a weapons test on it, only for three and a half scale mission, I think it was. And so we didn't really get to see how much damage it's going to do in massive battle. Well, here is a massive battle. We're going to take a take the bait, which is guaranteed heavy, extremely heavy mech, at a five scale difficulty, three or thirteen party salvage, half a million seals. Should we manage to win? So let's see if we can not actually pull this off. Now, I am a little bit worried. It is a desert terrain, as you can see. And every single other time we have Max fired everything off of the King Crack, it instantly cooked. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, we did get a little bit separated on the drop. Looks like the Onager is potentially trapped, but hopefully not. We'll find out because we have quite a bit of ground to cover before we actually manage to get in. We are looking at four lances plus likely an additional reinforcement lance so anywhere from 16 to 20 mechs uh, depending on how things go to, if we're lucky it'll be 13 mechs and that that one extremely heavy mech will be all on his own and we won't have to worry about it but eh, probably not we did bring a pair of cookers as well just to make sure that things sort of go the way we're hoping they'll go and we'll be able to capture something really cool i don't know what an extremely heavy mech at a five skull mission would be well possibly a super heavy but those tend to be really rare I could sort of open up just long-range ultra bombardment, but I'm a little bit worried about having enough ammunition to sort of go the distance on this one, so we're going to keep it a little bit light. By the way, Death Crusade managed to level up. He is now a 10-10-10-10 pilot. 10-10-10-10. Yeah, four tens. Uh, so maxed across the board, giving him 13 gunnery on those cannons. Hopefully we can keep them those racks a-rolling as much as possible. We don't have nearly as much ammunition as we kind of need on it, but even if we're running against 20 mechs, the 5, five and like 5.8, 5.9 rounds of shooting that he gets might actually be a sufficient amount to kill, well, a quarter or more of the targets. And if one of our mechs can kill a quarter of the targets, that might be good enough. Uh, the Black Knight should have no trouble keeping Endo TSM running 588 damage even without it. The Endo TSM, I believe, that brings that up to an 800-something, and then you got to throw in all of them. Oh, we've identified the reinforcements. Like reinforcements. Hey, there they are. Uh, we're dealing with a Lament, a what you call a Bola, and a Shiltron. Oh boy, that's a lot of firepower. That Shiltron. So that Shiltron obviously needs to die first. And we phase. However, they managed to beat us. Oh, and just Seth still A little bit of a long tom fire going on there, or maybe not. Sniper artillery from a marksman artillery vehicle. Okay, so I have two primary targets now. So because of these reinforcements, I've now also been identified by everyone off over here. So this might be bad. I don't know how much heavy long-range firepower we're going to actually be able to put down onto a target to keep us running and alive. We'll find out, though. The Lament's a direct fire mech, though. It's not going to be able to see us and therefore not going to be able to do anything. Uh, however, we're seeing more artillery starting to ramp up. So we've got two artillery already set. We're going to make sure that we activate all of our AMS because this is going to be probably pretty critical. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen once everything fully turns on, but I'd like to be prepared for it should the worst actually arise. So get everybody set to overload. Good. Okay. Lovely. Not going to activate the integrated laser AMS to overload mode. That would be kind of not good in my opinion. I think it would end up being a bit of a mistake. How good is a guided shot here? 70 percent it actually would have a fairly decent chance of Ooh, that would be even better oh, infernos on top of these targets would actually do a good job of torching everything that is really tempting actually <clears throat> the shiltron is actually really dangerous though uh, but so are these guys but these guys also need to you know hit the target whereas the shiltron not necessarily all right we'll move <laughs> i will move to turn so i can see all targets under my umbrella Target that Chiltron. We'll go with the Infernos. Copy that. See if we can't get a cook going on. A little bit of a cooking has begun. Hopefully I'm trying to burn through the top of the vehicle. And Seth Self Bomber coming on over. He has four arrows, which are immune to AMS. And he's in a good position to use them. And I can only imagine that we're pausing on this one while he selects out targets and fires all of his weapon systems. Which will not be good, but at least we only need to worry about one round of shooting out of them. So once he actually unloads those onto us, we'll be able to see where things lie from there. <clears throat> Such a shame that you can't shoot him down. That would actually be a really interesting balancing, but you can't shoot down an arrow on a tabletop, so changing it to make it so you can shoot down arrows might be a little bit, not unfair, but against the spirit of what Rotech is trying to do, where they're trying to bring more and more tabletop to this actual game. <clears throat> 
Pardon me. I had something in my throat earlier and was trying to get it out. So what are you gonna do? Who are you gonna shoot? I mean, I can kind of imagine it might shoot at the catapult. That might be the best target for you. Because it is the weakest target, and if I have to hold it back, then that's going to take away a lot of my cooking potential. Because it has a lot of missiles. It's going to target the vulture. Okay, and we did get lucky. He didn't get a direct hit on any of those shots. Reporting. Caused damage all around, but it's sustainable. And he's just lost good. most of his firepower. Uh, he still has the ability to drop probably some bombs in the bay, but other than that, not bad. <clears throat> I will get this thing out of my throat. Uh, you're ignorable. Now, oh, you only got a daisy cutter and a Moab. I'm not sure about the Moab, but the daisy cutter is not all that bad. Shiltron is starting to lose most of his top armor. I will go for the attack ground because the chance of hitting is just a little bit too low. So we'll see if we can't drop down the high explosive. Roger. Causing a little bit of damage, and you can continue your pace on forward. So once we get a decent shot, though, we might be able to get some fun out here. I'm a little bit worried about the catapult being so far forward. It is very vulnerable where it is, which is one of the reasons why I'm trying to knock out the Shiltron Stalker uh, LM-10 or more. Well, the point of defense is going to tell me that we shot down 20. So two LRM, yeah, it's an LRM, it's a standard Stalker, it looks like. So a pair of LRM-10s. This is the worst, though, because I've got to get you all the way around this mountain. Jeez. Ugh, not having the Onager for so long is going to be such a pain. He'll be able to meet up with us in like five turns. Another artillery strike, not able to connect. So good on that one. Starting to build up quite the arsenal of snipers. Yep, we've got two marksmen and a ballista. Alright, the Emperor. Uh, can't hit, could shoot, but probably not effectively. And we are in range for some of the artillery. I'm going to focus on that shelter. I want it gone. I do not wish to have to deal with it. So I'm going to aim close enough. Thumpers and high explosives. Swarms to go all around. Double tap nearby. And rain as best as we can. And you'll walk on forward with the Emperor. It's good to hear that he doesn't have much armor left. Because that will hopefully allow us to kill things. This amount of artillery though on the ground right now is very concerning. King Crack has probably no target, which is a little bit sad. I will attempt to avoid that sort of unstable terrain so that I can keep running him as much as possible. He needs to actually see his targets to kill his targets. King Crack uh, getting shot at with the Thunderbolts, right. So we're able to avoid most of the damage from the Shiltron. And did you move? Yeah, you moved out of the fire. That's okay. I'll give you even more. Don't worry. So rush the Black Knight on forward. Uh, if you shoot at the ground, I've we've been testing this at this point. If you shoot at the ground, it doesn't give you any heat bonus, which is kind of sad. Uh, also kind of annoying, because I'd like to shoot at the ground to keep the heat high. So you actually have to shoot at a target. That'll be essential. Are you the primary? Oh no, you're a support lance. Okay. Oh god. Long Tom. Right on top of us. Well, 68 damage, actually, for the direct hit. That was a Marauder with a Long Tom. Got it. Life is becoming worse and worse by the moment. So I'm going to give you a Inferno Shell. Because this is getting a little bit untenable. And you can walk I'm on forward. Heavy fire. So probably should have focused on these guys first. Just drown them in artillery fire, see if I could knock them out. Because the Shieldtron is not being as effective as it could be. So coach, Order. right, your catapult has been pretty badly mauled. Um, I don't want to reveal myself too much to the side, but I don't think I have much of a choice. Alright, it's a walk to get rid of the stability. Target the Shieldron with the Hydras. I got you. See if we can't finish him off. He's not dead, darn it. I was very much hoping that we would get the finish off on him. Counterfire towards the catapult. The point defense immediately kicks on in, providing us the protection we need. Nine missiles shot down. Gotta put more fire onto the artillery vehicles. What are you? Centurion. Okay, that's where they came from. Marksmen's almost have their roofs open, which is good, so if they move together, I can do something about it. Uh, it doesn't look. Oh, we got another Shieldtron. Focusing on the catapult, it's an obvious target because it is the most vulnerable at the moment. He's currently sitting out in the open, and that makes it a perfect target to shoot at. Howl. Ready for order. Thanatos, do you have that Shiltron? 38 is not good enough. How much is his armor? 14 health. 
High explosive thumper. See if we can't knock him out. I don't want to deal with him in my back line. Still didn't kill him. Uh, you know, walk into the instability. Maybe you'll be able to attract a little bit of fire. Nothing too much, but just a little bit. In order to take a little bit of the pressure off the 55 ton mech. That's currently my greatest concern. <laughs> the artillery duels that happen in late game rogue tech really are kind of a fascinating evolution of just having access to the entire gamut of the Battletech arsenal. Like, this is only possible because everybody has access to all of the artillery. Alright. Remove you from the equation. Here it comes. I think this will come. It did. Good. And we're laying out a nice amount of fire. So we've got one of their artillery tanks down. They still have a ballista and a second marksman somewhere around here. Uh, the reason why I'm so concerned about the about the artillery tanks is because they have inferno shells on this one so the inferno shells are actually a really big stumbling block and they can prevent me from moving forward at all they can overheat me which on a desert map is especially dangerous so i want to make sure that i can kill them properly this long time is going to be especially nasty are you the primary no you're not you're still part of the support lance it's a death crusade and can crack i'd like to get you forward no target. I'd like to get you forward, but I'm not going to be dumb about it. Reserve. Because throwing that mech forward and getting it killed serves nobody's purpose. I'm going to be careful about trying to get into the battle. Unfortunately, got quite the trip to make with the Onager. Still a lot of ground to cover before we can start providing its support. If we had his Hydras to play as well, the drop hadn't been so terrible, this would be a different story. This Sheltron would be dead by now. Unfortunately, it didn't work that way. Of course, if I can dream, I would have dropped the Hydras on top of them on the first turn anyway. Providing defense, providing coverage. We are definitely relying on it because we got to keep it, keep ourselves intact. Yeah, fire is very much an incredibly powerful weapon, especially on desert maps. Overheating happens easily. Um, shows one. He actually is still absolute garbage, but I think I can kill you with this. I don't want to have to deal with the Thunderbolt 15s. That's that's my main concern, actually. And he's dead, okay. So the shield runs out. We don't have to worry about him anymore. Taking heavy hits, Commander. And that'll help out with our point defense systems. Because the shield run provides a pretty decent electronic warfare jamming system. Uh, another problem, actually, is going to be that yes, very deadly, name. very powerful... VTOL right there. The Seth Stealth Bomber. Okay, I don't know where you went. That concerns me. Keep him in front of show. Light the... Light everything on fire. Probably not going to use our Mackie or... Or our Arrow Commander? Mech. The Vulture for any sort of... I don't know, aggressive... Would I describe this? As any sort of assistant for cooking somebody. We will very much be utilizing it, mostly for its capability at, at knocking out vehicles, which is totally reasonable. Oh, I forgot. If you walk, you brace automatically. Because you have the ability for it. Is that the system pickup? Ah, yes. We've got two enhanced LRMs. Oh, no, that's the ballista. Ooh, interesting. RD notes 12. Yes, we must put a little fire on that target. Coach, your catapult. Uh, do you have the bola? You do have the bola. We're back at the top of the phase, by the way. I want to lay into that Seth the Wolf Palmer. I just don't have much of an opportunity to do it. I don't even know. Ooh, you got about a lot of heavy over him. Oh, that's going to be rough to get through. See if you can't go for the cook. I'm going to be a lot, using a lot of our Hydras for this as well. Long range overheating is not something we're going to be able to use all that effectively. I'm there. Okay, evasive, aim is protected, and also the brace because of the sure footing. The entrenchment bonus makes this harder to knock over, which is very, very useful when you're being shielded by a lot of artillery. You have to find that second marksman. Oh, is he right there? We do see the second marksman, okay. 
must have moved into the fire. Well, the will lay a second round on top of him, knock him out. So these guys need a round, these guys need a round. You'll probably take the arrow, you'll probably take the inferno. And then this bull is going to come around the corner and he's going to unload onto something. It's going to hurt a lot. Heavy MRMs on a, something that quick and deadly. Shieldron also as well, but it's not as big of a problem. Purely because we can shoot down all the missiles. So that's still the 27 missiles shot down by the point defense. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's a sensor lock. I did not want that at all. Waiting for orders. Right, so the... Do you have a shot on this bola? I don't think you will, but... Yeah, it's just not any good. I can't shoot you at all. I can hit the marksman. Effectively, too. Fire. Acknowledged. Good job. Okay. So we've knocked out both of the marksmen. There's still the ballista, which is currently hanging out over by an extent a uh, enhanced LRM carrier. On my way. So there's that. But knocking out the two marksmen is mostly removed the heat weapon from the equation. Receiving you. King Crack, do you have a target? Can you get a target? Probably not, actually. Okay. Full I'm gonna speed. run you up top. That way I can hopefully get a line of sight shooting down on top of things. May not end up working, but we'll find out. So the ballista artillery tank has moved off to the side, made himself not more vulnerable, but he's a target. They all are targets. Laments an easy shot, actually. Could even shoot down the Seth, Seth South bomber. Ooh, not very effectively, unfortunately. The ballista artillery tank seems like a really tempting target, and I'm going to put it into the ground. Okay, looks like we knocked it out. One for the scrap heap. So the next target obviously is going to end up being the enhanced LRM carrier, then probably the Shiltron. Because this Shiltron hasn't really demonstrated being super dangerous for some reason. It might be because he needs to be in ballistic range to do anything. But speaking of Inferno attack ground, I've got three more of these. Let me rephrase that, I have two more of these. Taking the shot. Okay, that's the cooker. That could have been worse. It was perfect. Order acknowledged. So I've knocked out most of their artillery. They still have the Shiltron, and that bola still has me very worried. Onager still is trying to desperately get back into range. I'm going to take his long route. This is our reinforcement lance. But we have managed to take out a little bit over a lance at this point. To be fair, they are only vehicles. But vehicles are incredibly deadly in road tech. Uh, especially artillery vehicles can be. They give basically an infinite amount of time to figure out how you're going to strike. I'd like to finish off these reinforcements so the enemy loses sight of me. Hopefully they can't long tom me, but I don't know if that's actually a thing or not. Uh, we are sort of counter-battering on whatever we see. Let me continue going. Stalker, I don't think, is actually going to have any real capability of getting through our defenses. At the end of the day, the Stalker just kind of lacks the throw Let's weight go. that it would need for that. Okay, Black Knight. Not, we're going to get too far forward, but definitely going to be a little bit aggressive with it. Affirmative. Uh, probably shouldn't be too too aggressive with it, because if it starts drawing too much fire, then by the time we actually get to the enemy, I can't utilize it for the role that I want to. Okay, he's pinging, but he's moved right in front of the King Crack, so he's dead. I do anticipate we'll be able to shoot him down without too much trouble. Uh, and that ping immediately ends his turn, so he can't drop his Moab or his Daisy Cutter on that, so we should be able to kill him. Uh, I don't anticipate having any trouble with that. Even if I have to just run the gun at maximum power, that'll probably work out okay. May have been a mistake to come up here, although I can sort of come down in this direction. Should the fire ever end. Impada. You see that bola? The Ebola? Yeah, give me some shaped charges, give me some Warlord, because I do not want to deal with what this guy's packing. Uh, swarms. Thud. Missed the one, but the other one hit good. Penetrated the armor, took out the bola, and now we can push on. So we still have a Lament to worry about, and Laments can be pretty dangerous. And also the Sestel Bomber, which is dangerous in its own right, in the right circumstances. But for us, that's not so bad at the moment. Unless it drops his bombs, in which case it suddenly becomes incredibly dangerous. Had he gotten lucky with those initial arrows that he opened fire on us and gotten good hits, he probably could have deleted a mech if he wanted. I mean, arrows are nasty weapons. Catapult. Can you get up there with him? 
You can kind of actually. That's a really bad angle. Hi. So I'm going to go with Infernos, Infernos, Infernos. I'm also going to lay down a sensor lock on top of you to improve my odds of being able to nail you. Uh, I'd like to hopefully get lucky. This is a primitive version of the item, so that's good. Oh, I forgot. Right. You have the defensive systems. That's going to make life a lot more harder to get through. Paradox. Onager, are you going to get anywhere near here? Oh, you have a line of sight. Here's the real question. He sees the plasma cannon. He does not see with the Inferno SRMs. Alright, uh, I'm going to give it a shot. From this angle, there's really no reason not to. But he will be back with us soon, which will be very nice. It'll add a little bit more point defense to any sort of incoming missiles, which is always great. And also, he will start being able to utilize his heat weaponry a little bit more efficiently and effectively. Shiltron is probably my next primary kill here. And you died trying to move through. Actually, no, I dropped a giant incendiary shells on top of you. It was hilarious. I'm still laughing about it. Right, what do you got? Can't shoot. Can shoot accurately. And the Stalker. And the Shieldron, of course. Ugh, it's tempting to shoot the Shieldron. Uh, we would actually have a pretty decent chance of causing some pretty major damage to him. Even pull out a shape charge on him. Yeah, let's shape charge the Shieldron. Missed my 10%, darn it. Negative damage. <clears throat> Unfortunate. Uh, we will get you moving forward a little bit more. Probably should pay a lot more attention to that to that Seth Stealth Bomber. Because it's going to be nasty pretty soon. If I don't get somebody to shoot it. He's moving on 20. Okay, point defense kicking on in. Protecting us from most of that incoming. So that was 20 missiles, so yeah, that came from the Stalker. Showboat, right. You have one chance and one chance only. Um, and you're not going to have a chance to do anything about it. Do we know what you've got? We don't. You are going to reserve. Uh, King Crack got outsped by the Seth Stealth Bomber. He's probably going to get bombed by the Seth Stealth Bomber. Because Death Crusade did not get there in time. So I don't know what the Daisy Cutter is going to do, and I don't know what the Moab is going to do, but with any luck, it's not going to kill me entirely. Lots of incoming missile fire. This will allow us to pinpoint for next round of shooting. Although I expect most of this is coming from mechs. But the Black Knight is taking a lot of it because the Black Knight's AMS is jammed. Oh. Interesting. They decided not to move, huh? God, it is just not accurate enough. Alright, Death Crusade. Commander. Remove him from the equation. Firing at half rate just to keep the temperature under control. We didn't need to fire at a greater rate than that. So I bet I basically fired two rack two rack fives at him. With a little bit more reliability. So that cleans that up so I don't have to worry about it. Stalker, Shiltron, Centurion. Quinstun. Interesting. You are gonna be a hard target. Shieldron's going to be a rough target once we get to ballistic range. That's the problem. Yeah, let's finish a target off. Let's not get distracted. Because I could just sort of, you know, constantly shoot and swap over firing and everything. But that would be a bad idea. So we're going to focus on this. We're going to make sure that we knock out the Shieldron. Then we'll work on the Winston. Then from the Winston, to, I suppose other mechs. So his roof is penetrated, but we need a lot more penetration before we can actually expect to have him dead. Then the Winston will be next. I wish I knew what this Lament had. Oh, okay. Two t okay, it's the Triple Tiger at ERPPC and the, the small... That's not as dangerous as I thought it was going to be. Oh, shoot. Where were you? So, that was a surprise. Yeah, that, that was a... That requires an immediate response. Heavy MML care, shape charge, let it rock. Got it badly damaged already, which is good. 
So yeah, that that was not expected. That came out of basically nowhere. Moving out. So they had one in reserve, yes, which proved to be incredibly dangerous. And I'm going to make sure that it bothers no one ever again. My explosive. Did not kill it. I got a little bit... I'm trying to nurse mate a little bit of my incendiaries. They're incredibly good against tanks, but I still have other tanks to take out. So you can move into cover right about here. This should give you the most amount of protection. And then you're going to brace for the most amount of protection you can possibly get. Coach, your catapults. No tar... Oh yeah, because you're on SRM mode. Recycle. Yes, my LRMs can see. Do you see the Shiltron? Oh, you do see that Shiltron. Yeah, it ran on his parade. That's the Shiltron dead. Okay. So we still have to take out the heavy MML carrier. Uh, who I don't think I can see. Oh, I do see him. Okay. That's good. Heavy MML carrier, incredibly vulnerable right now. The lament coming out of the co corner. Ooh. I think it nailed me once or twice. Not much armor left in that location. That's not good. You are a cooker. I need you to be available to cook. Alright, show me the children. Or the heavy armor walker. Go for... Uh, give me a single guided? Yeah, if the guided hits, he's dead. Give me a single guided. So that's knocked out. They, they, they were very clever in holding it back and giving it time to position itself to unload on the target. But it didn't quite end the way they wanted. You're going to get an incendiary shell and probably some follow-up incendiary arrows next round. But we have knocked out a considerable number of their units so far. Still haven't found the primary target yet. He's still hanging in the back. And we know that that Marauder is not the primary target we looked. He's part of the support lance. Also, a little concerned where that support Marauder is right now. There he is. Is he going to open fire? He's not. Okay. Right now he's skulking. You do not have a target unless I turn you. So, oh, right. Um, I'm going to ignore you. <laughs> Sorry, but you're, you're not really a priority of mine. I have another better mech that will take you on. Warlord, go for the maximum accuracy. I copy. Good hit for good damage. Uh, what is Showboat up? This is kind of Showboat's gang. 588 damage. I think Showboat ought to be able to handle it on her own. Couple of PPCs towards the Black Knight, but that's fine. Alright, good, Showboat. Let's remove the last of the reinforcements. Gonna go around to the back for the 83. Hi. My twin hatchet Black Knight. God damn it, Showboat. Yeah, clearly. Gave her an opportunity to shine, and how did she repair me? Alright, Stalker's gonna shift back. Open fire the Black Knight, obviously, because the Black Knight is now way out in the open, and we've provided a beautiful shot for everybody. Great. Paradox. Order. Right, uh, your armor, yeah, you got trimmed pretty badly, actually. You are very low on armor. Target there. Roger. Position Double forward. Time. I can't fire Hydras because you're right on top of a friendly. So we're going to keep that on control. There we go. Cooked him out. That'll make life a little bit easier. So I don't have to worry quite as much. Still kind of sucks, but hey. Winston on the move. We still have a line of sight on the Winston though, so we can still deal damage to him. Using Swarm, which is a good choice. Because he obviously doesn't have a good shot on me just yet. Uh, I can't king crack you. Oh. I see the Winston. And the Warhammer, which is the primary target. You got it. I see the world. Yeah, let's um let's make sure we remove this guy. We'll keep the temperature under control. There we go. So the Winston's out, which means the only heavy long-range fire support that's not... Oh, there's still an LRM Carrier Mark II. Well, good thing that we've spotted it, because now I can direct a lot of uh, heavy missile assets towards it. Look at the Marauder down here. 
Stalker, and Atlas. Not sure what the Atlas was doing there, but okay. Uh, the Mackie could actually just walk up and laser beam the ever-loving crap out of this thing. There it is. That was where it was. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna multi-target. See if I can get an accurate shot for a multi-target. I'll give it a chance. I'll go a shaped charge. And then I'll also drill the ever-loving crap out of you. Oh, good shot. The reason why I went with the shape charge is if it failed to hit. Uh, that way I was not sort of putting all my eggs in one basket. Waiting for orders. Right. You can rush in as well. I copy. Primary counter battery target is the LRM carrier. And we do not have a particularly accurate shot at it. With a high explosive. Got it. So their last heavy indirect fire Confirm. artillery unit. Oh god, we jam oh no, I'm out of ammo. Gotta always keep that in mind. I have no interest in taking you alive. I'm gonna suppose I could try and cook you out. Sure, I have enough inferno. Do you want to heat? Max over. Bail out, pilot. No, pilot wants to stick order. around. Going full Let's get a little bit more cook on him. Maybe he'll realize the error of his ways. Pilot's out, okay. Now why did I go for that? There's equipment on board that I'd like to steal. I believe that's a risk mech, so I might be able to steal some risk sensors off of it. So we've got an Atlas 7D3. I'm not familiar with the type. The Marauder Long Tom, of course, who's still not engaging. He may have blown out his own... Is that a thing he can do? Can he blow out his own armor? Uh, Stalker, Centurion. No, that Long Tom still works. Uh, wow. That's interesting. And... Oh. That's beautiful. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go the Centurion, then. Since I have no interest in taking the Centurion alive. Take a nice little damage shot, and I'll start to move around the fire. Because I don't really need to be in the middle of it. Centurion? Centurion broke something. Oh, you might have had like a supercharger or something. The Atlas has some really interesting weaponry. So I could, as much as I'd love to just unload on the guy, um, might not be the best decision. Aye, aye. Alright, the Marauder. Run that gun full power. Let's take the temperature up. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. I'm not intending to take the murder intact. There's nothing special about it. <clears throat> murder. Uh, not the infra. High explosive. Firing. So it does have a cool gun, but let's be honest with ourselves. The only thing I'm really interested in the Warhammer 2C. It's an 80-ton Warhammer equipped with a pair of Clan Heavy Large Lasers, which we would love to steal. These are amazing pieces of kit. Also, it's a pair of ERPPCs, which, you know, I kind of don't think jive super well together. Because the Heavy Large Lasers are kind of medium-ish range. Oh, I could probably cook you now. After you just fired a pair of ERPPCs in a desert environment, I might actually have you cooked. Marauder, Atlas, Warhammer... Is it worth it? No, not yet. Save it, save it, save it. Uh, got it on the arrow. Is your problem... No visual? ECM shield. Do I have the sensors? Yes, I do, buddy. So we'll lay a sensor lock down onto the Marauder, and then we'll lay a little bit more heavy fire power. We need to neutralize his uh, ability to counter. And he's dead. Alright, so we have effectively neutralized their indirect fire capabilities in their entirety. There appear to be one, two, th yeah, three targets left. A Stalker, a Centurion, and the Atlas. Not including, of course, the primary target. Black Knight uh, gave up her chance of actually proving just how deadly she can be, but... Commander? Dear God. Already you have done such wonderful work. I do worry about doing this. Got it. Because that is a lot of firepower that's going to be coming your way. Probably hold you back. I need to lay some fire down on multiple targets. The Atlas 
It's order two, so it's not that special. It's doing 25 damage per shot, which is pretty good. Uh, that is actually the strength of a normal rotary auto cannon five. <laughs> I think he intends to brawl. I gotta say, man, I think that's a really dumb idea. Stalker is bog standard equipment. There's nothing special in it, but first the Centurion. Uh, shape charge, please. The accuracy is grand. I do have some Hydra for the backup for once, once we start going for a long range capture. I never knew that they trailed yellow. But that's pretty cool. We got the Stalker and the Atlas now. Is there only only things left to deal with? Alright, we're at a point where I feel reasonably confident just laying into you with a pair of. Uh, you know what? I'll give you the Infernos. Time to unload. Okay, good fire. Lots of fire. Building onto it. I'm out of LRM. And we're cooking. So she, we gotta give the Vulture a chance to reset and rearm. Catapult Mark III. Uh, would very much like to prefer to avoid the flames along the way. It needs to be a waypoint system in this game. Alright, let's move. Alright, I'm out of this. We knew the Hydras weren't gonna be available. The emergency cooling system has finished chilling out the mech, so it is nice and cold and no longer taking in the additional. Do I want an Atlas? I don't. You have some interesting technology? There's some X pulses, but at the end of the day, an X pulse is just an inferior heavy heavy clan weapon. Temperatures generally are about the same. Okay, Death Crusade in the King Crack. Can basically kill whatever he can crack. You can see the two remaining targets so easily. Well, actually, no, there are, there are other targets. So we're going to get on the move. We're going to position ourselves for a future round. Because you're basically done here, man. I'll put the battle down. If I kill the Atlas, I will do it next round, and I'll pull on forward, and I'll just unload everything I've got into him. Because killing the Atlas might be the right plan. Okay, Hal and the Thanatos. Docker, yes, indirect, shaped charge. Because it's vulnerable. Moving out. Keep slowly and steadily moving forward. The Emperor, are you in range of the Stalker with everything? You are indeed. This will be a Warlord with our last of our shaped charge. So this ought to do as much as we can. Good hits. And good shaving of the rest of the armor. We're basically making this stalker more and more easy to hit for everybody else. Location confirmed. And Mockingbird. Mockingbird will target the Warhammer for an Inferno round. Copy that. Oh, we cooked him. Nice. Was not expecting the full-on cook. Expecting just a sort of bit of a holding action there. And we maintain line of sight. Okay. Okay, okay. And I see him too. Oh, my friend. Yeah. We hit him. So he's just going to stay nice and cooked. Got the plasma residue on top of him as well. That'll make sure that he definitely keeps cooking. Good to go. Black Knight will be in a position to follow up very soon. Oh, no. No. Let me guess. There's no actual. There might be one there. Right, Commander. Let's get the temperature out of control, baby. Doesn't matter if I hit you or not, that's not the point. The point is we activated the endo TSM. Okay, catapult mark three. Uh, has no indirect fire weapon capability whatsoever anymore. We've used all our hydras, so that means we can keep up the pressure with other through other means. Shun forward. Darkest face. Inferno SRMs. Accuracy ain't great, but who cares? Pilot is not having the best of days. Vulture. For his head. I will go guided because they're necessary. Are they necessary? Ooh, they're not. Standards. Because right now he has 19 structure and 30 health, which gives him 49 in total. Item with the 60 damage in the head that'll blow him apart. Okay, he's not dead. A little disappointing on there. 
The new temperature started to get over the red line. I can't do that again. Like a bird. How badly damaged is he? Oh, the head's fully exposed. Right, we just need to get somebody who's got a lot of light weapons. I don't know why he's alive, but he is. So I'm going to lay down an inferno shell on top of these two chuckleheads. Because they stood on top of each other. That ought to help control them a little bit better. How far? How fast? Moving fast. Hi. Uh, I'm going to shoot the stock in the back and I'm going to start shutting off AMSs. That'll do. Doesn't hit, but doesn't matter. It's not why she's here. That would be a miss. Death yep. Crusade, King Crack. Um, I'm not willing to use King Crack to try and take Ready his head off. I am ever willing to use you. Howl. Give me a thumper. High explosive indirect. Not quite what I was looking for. On the move. Death Crusade. I do want to kill those arrogant little eel, eel reserve. May not end up using you at all. But let's see if he moves out in the open and I can then follow up with something powerful. It's like no health left in the head. Okay, the Atlas moving on forward. Aye, aye. Emperor. The Emperor could go. take the shot, actually. <sighs> Ready to give it a chance? On Headshot. Primary Not target kill. eliminated. Nice. So, we managed to steal the Warhammer 2C in its entirety. It's an interesting 80 ton Mac. Uh, it's a Warhammer, except the clans modified it, made it heavier and bigger. Are you trying to get away from me? Oh, I think they're trying to get away from me. That may have been a mistake. There it is. Greetings. I come to you from on far. King Crack finally able to do what he was built to do. Sitting up top on top of a hill like a monster. Two of the guns have jammed. <laughs> I kind of figured something like that might happen. It's only meant to do that every round, not or every other round. That's how I calculated it. That's one of the reasons why I allowed it to get away with a 5.8 or something uh, number of missiles or number of rounds of shooting. So, there's, there's a reason why he is built like he's built. So, let's turn off a rotary. That gets the temperature under control. And you get a little bit of plinking. And then fall back. Ooh, too cooking. Too cooking. Thin. Uh, Finn can lay a little bit of arrow fire onto it. Oh, nope. Temperature's too high. Just chill. Paradox. Onager. Onager still has Hydras. Why? Because the Onager took forever to get into the fight. Not really his fault, but it's true. Fire. I'm just gonna make you lots of hot. Receiving you. Oh, Thanatos. Thermal explosive. Target. On target. Good job. Basically just a single Atlas at this point. Come on back to me. No, so stop running away. Oh, I'm trying to give Mockingbird the best, or not Mockingbird, I'm trying to give uh, Shobot the best chance to do a nice hit, uh, heavy hit on the target. They are not cooperating. <laughs> I want to show it off at maximum power, come on. Alright, everything on. In fact, go Hydras. You know, if you show me your back, I'm going to cook you. Perhaps even alive. All right, Chobo, you're clearly not going to get within range this round. As much as I would love to, it's just going to take a little bit longer than that. Shut up here. Don't keep the temperature high. All right, 51. Again, it's not about hitting. It's about keeping the temperatures high. Ready for orders. Watch for now, coach, and the catapult. I don't think it's physically possible for you to see the target. <laughs> oh, no, you can. Lovely. Copy that. Hi. Okay, that's a uh, 35 heat. Seems a little bit light, but okay. Death Crusade. 
Sorry, but it must be done. Guns are running. Wait, no, I can't do this because too many rounds have been spent. Well, the temperature, I had to get back under the line. Hiya, buddy. If you survive this. Yes, but you didn't. You're gonna be on the ground. Totally vulnerable. Brace. Commander. Brace. Taking a protective stand. Brace. Waiting for orders. God damn it, Cap! I'm gonna give you this. You are gonna have your opportunity to shine. Come hell or high water, I will give it to you. Here we go. Ooh, you pilot is panicked. So endo TSM is on. Chill. All right. Chill. I am sacrificing an Atlas to see just how great this must be. Yes, Commander. Roger. Venting heat. Showboat. Endo TSM. Berserker. 1,234 damage. Affirmative. Kill it. Oh, yeah. Oh, beyond, Next yeah. Draw. Mission successful. That. <laughs> that is a prodigious amount of firepower. Oh, I don't even... That's just, just so lovely. 1,234. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's how much damage we deal. Because we can. Uh, they want to take some stuff. They want to steal all of my Warhammer bars for an Axel engine. Uh, I will refuse... Get effed, son. Show me these uh, Warhammer parts. The odds of me getting them are low anyway. <laughs> I shouldn't have refused. I should have let them take it. But I wanted to... Uh, no. Where's those heavy large lasers? There. But that'll put me to that. I have two long tom cannons, Jesus. Risk ML-20s, sniper artillery pieces. Oh, I know what I'm getting. It's the truly important piece of equipment. It is somewhere down here. I should be all the way down. Yeah, weapon mounts, no thank you. And it is... Sniper Inferno Quantity 2, Sniper Shape Charge Quantity 2. Oh, that's gonna be good. Got the Warhammer part. <laughs> Shouldn't have denied him. I should have just said, yeah, sure, whatever. Because, uh, who cares? I don't like the planetary government is super nice to me anyway. So that's gonna work out really, really well. So King Crack kind of demonstrating that anybody he sees he can kind of butcher. If I get a good round of shooting in it, I can probably kill just about anything. Like I can have decent accuracy and just absolutely go murder face on it. So I'm pretty pleased with that. We still need to find our way to finding three more clan rack fives. If I find three more clan rank fives, it's going to save me three tons, which is good for more ammunition. It's also going to save me three critical sw slots, which is good for more ammunition. So I need to find those, and that'll give me five tons in total. So, <laughs> 179,000 for the next 20 days. I kind of predicted that happening because of the amount of damage that we were taking on the way on through. Also, that surprise blast that they gave us from the MMO carrier was pretty interesting. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's episode. I have been Tarek. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see a notification every single time I post one of these videos, press that little bell icon. Leave a comment. It's good for the algorithm. And also make sure you check out the rest of the channel. We recently put up a tour of a leopard mod for MechWarrior 5, which drastically increases the interior space of the leopard so you can explore and find cool things. Make sure you check it out on the channel. And I will see you all in the next episode.